planners that I've seen way too many times help. I've tried different planners and nothing seems to work. I never seem to accomplish my goals. What am I doing wrong? Does it happen to you? Do you feel that it almost doesn't make sense at the end of the year to start new goals because it just seems like you're repeating the same goals over and over again and never feeling accomplished? Do you ever feel like it's almost not worth it and it's almost better to let life happen to you because you're still here, so it seems to be working, but not the way that you wanted it? So... Is it the planner? Are you doing something wrong? Why is it not working out for you? Hi, Jackie. Thank you for being there. Listen, you're not alone. That's the first thing that I want to tell you. You're not alone. And you need to feel a-okay with this because, number one, we're humans. But there's the other thing. There are things that we can do to be way more conscious about our days. We're more intentional about our planning. And heck, there's a planner for everyone out there, and I'm going to take advantage of this time to uh, be showing you who the planner that I designed was for, because it's not for everyone. I would love for it to be for everyone, but nothing that we make is for everyone. We need to be A-OK -okay with that. The person that I had in mind when I was designing this planner is the person exactly like the, like the uh, description of my uh, video. It's, I have tried every planner and nothing seems to work. Listen, it's not the planner situation, although a planner that is designed to help you uh, understand how you're managing your days and your weeks and kind of look back always helps you. But I feel like the mistake that we are making every single year when it comes to making goals, to making that list of goals has nothing to do per se with the planner and everything to do with the consciousness that we're planning with. We're so used to setting goals that are OK with society and never checking in with ourselves we've forgotten that we have a compass inside of us that is exactly what we should be listening to to understand what is it that we're meant to be doing this next year this next season we're all in different seasons no matter the age no matter what stage of life you're in everyone experiences the seasons in a different way and we forget so often to check in with our internal compass to know what are meant to be our goals and the sad thing is that we then feel unaccomplished we don't ever look back and see the things we actually accomplished to feel good all that we see is listen i've tried to lose those 10, those 10 pounds for 10 years so clearly i'm a loser clearly i'm meant to be a fat girl that never feels good with herself perhaps you're taking it the wrong way perhaps it has nothing to do with those 10 pounds and perhaps you're perfect the way that you are and all that you need is feeling health in another way not in the way of I'm gonna go to the gym five times a week for two hours when you try the first day you don't have time and then you feel unaccomplished perhaps in the way that what will make me feel healthy and stack one thing after the other and start with the realization that you are perfect the way that you are that you have an amazing body that works so incredibly good and starting from that, when you nurture every cell of your body because you just want to celebrate how amazing your body is, no matter what weight you have, then by that celebration, you can start stacking wins. So I want to have uh, this conversation while I'm showing you the reason why I um, designed this planner, thinking of the girl that I'm describing right now, the girl that is tired of planning every year, an amazing year, but then feels unaccomplished at the end of the day because those great goals that, ha that she had in mind didn't happen. And then she feels that there's something wrong with her when there's nothing wrong, except for the fact that she, you and I forgot to check in the compass and know what is it that we're meant to be doing and feeling for this year? I want to let you know, number one, that no planner will give you the compass that you have inside of yourself and will help you do those goals. And this is how I design the planner line. So I'm going to be showing you the reason. And while I'm explaining the planner, yes, I'm going through the planner, but I'm going to be explaining the reasons because these are the exact same reasons that I use with my life coaching uh, clients, with the people that I coach with and with myself to constantly make us realize and to constantly ask the questions that we need to be asking ourselves around our goals, our desires, our purpose, and what we're meant to be doing here. And that's how you set the goals that work for you. There's no one 
uh, a thing works for everyone is one thing works for you and you have it inside of you. Jackie has been a serious planner uh, and a serious planner heart and I have almost tried all of them. Jackie, hopefully this is for you. Listen, so this is the ivory one. We also have uh, the blue one I've showed you guys. This is the beautiful box that it comes in. And this is the blue one. Um, both of them have the exact same interior. So I'm just gonna go through the uh, ivory one and again, Listen, beyond the planner that I'm describing, I want you to listen to what I'm saying when it comes to planning in general. So um, I have designed a planner that looks uh, simply, uh, simplistic. I love pocket dots. I love um, the classiness of it, uh, but also that has space for fun. And you have the typical pages, you know, the beginning and everything, the calendars. Um, we have the holidays and the extra uh, fun holidays, kind of like French fries days and stuff like that, because I feel like we have to find reasons to celebrate little, little things. And then we have uh, special days, and this is where the fun begins. So number one, we start putting uh, an overview of the most special dates, so you can have an overview of what's important for you. Then you have the weekly schedule, and this is kind of like an ideal way of setting up your weekly schedule, because even if you're employed or you work at, you know, from home, you have your uh, own business, you're a stay-at-home mom, I feel like we lose so much time when we don't chunk down space, and it feels like we're not losing time. Oh, I'm great, I'm multitasking. Oh, I just checked my phone really quick when I go to the bathroom, and then you've checked your email 17 times a day, and you've lost so much time, and then since you're just opening and closing, constantly you forget to do something about that email and then you have a stack of emails and you've checked your emails like 17 times in a day so it's a lose-lose situation so when we chunk down situations in, in themes and it has the word theme in there um, well it helps you kind of have an ideal day and when you feel lost well you can go back to your ideal day and now let's get to the meat and potatoes of my favorite thing which is let's start with the goals this planner used to be called the Gold Digger Planner. And uh, the reason is, again, I want to see goals from an internal conscious point of view. And first, we have this page where we describe the ideal goals in personal, professional, health and spiritual, as well as wealth goals. And it has a due date. Now, there's plenty of space there, right? There's plenty of space. But I don't want you to set that many goals. Truth be told, I hate for you to have that many goals. The reason why that, that space is there is, well, number one, because the page is that big, so we have that many lines, but also because I want you to make a big goal, but also chunk it down. I do not want you to feel unaccomplished the day before you were meant to accomplish that goal. So you put the big one, and uh, when it comes to wealth, for example, you wanna save $10,000, great, but I would hate for you to get to November um, or December 2018 and then realize well, I only have 500. How about you put the $10,000 and then chunk it down by month, what it means. Perhaps you get your bonus on April. So now on April, in the next page, which is the monthly mini goals, you are going to uh, put that on April, you get $2,000 to your savings account. So in April, if you don't accomplish that goal, then you know that you are on track or you're not on track. And then you can readjust before you actually get to December and realize that you haven't accomplished something and then feel like a loser. So that's the importance of dividing it on monthly mini goals. Don't leave me yet. I know everybody talks about this. Chunk it down. Great. I've heard this a million times. Now listen. When you have your goals, I need you to take these next two pages, not as woo-woo, not as, uh, you know, uh, yeah, it would be nice to have the time, but honestly, as the most serious part of planning an intentional and conscious year and rest of your life. Listen, you ready? This two pages, if you take them as serious as a meaning, will change your life. Dreams and the perfect day. These two pages are designed with an intention that I'm going to describe around any goal. I'm going to take a material goal that I think most of us can relate to. I want a Range Rover. I want a white Range Rover, and I know I can even feel the smell of the leather, leather, however you say that, of the leather, uh, leather um, of this car. I can almost feel it. I can, I can touch the texture of that car. And most of us have done some sort of manifesting the secret law of attraction, and I truly believe in that. Great. You can feel that as I'm driving my car. I can think of the um, Range Rover. But I want to take it a step further. And this is what you're going to do in these dreams and uh, perfect day uh, pages. If I get to that goal of the white Range Rover, there's a lot of things that have had to happen in my life. 
for that to happen. Yes, I could buy a Range Rover right now if I start eating just um, you know cheap soup and forget about doing anything else in life. That's not the point. So a lot of people get so focused on this has to happen now that you forget about everything else. So abundance is my word for 2018. And um, if I get to that or when I get to that goal of the Range Rover, there's a lot of abundance that has happened in my life. And not just physical manifestation of it, but I will feel abundant in so many ways. And this is what you're going to start describing. And this is how you confirm a goal is truly yours. What type of life do you have to have to make that goal of the Range Rover a reality? You have to feel, number one, you have to have um, X amount of money. And when you have that money, I personally, there's a lot of other things that I would do before spending that money on the Range Rover. So for me to have this Range Rover, number one, I would have to arrive to this amount of money, which means I have served so much more people in my work, in my line of work, and it feels so damn good. I have gone to bed every single day feeling like I have served the people that I'm meant to be serving with the best intention, not just selling in a pushy way, but simply allowing them to understand that this is exactly what they need for the next step. Whatever it is that you sell, in the case that, that, that you're in sales or that you sell a product or for any company that you work, it does not matter if it's a cleaning service, if it's a car store, I don't care what it is. Everybody needs something at a certain point. And if you serve them the right way, then it feels so good and you're going to be uh, paid uh, the money for that service and it feels damn good. Then if I also get to that Range Rover, it, feel, it means that I'm in an abundant place, in a, in a wealth place that I get to uh, give uh, me and my husband dinners at my favorite restaurants at least once a month and it feels so good and I'm going to describe how it feels to go out on date nights that we get to dress up because we haven't forgotten up to now how to dress up and feel nice so we're taking date nights back and we enjoy that so much. We go back to the city in DC and we enjoy really nice restaurants and we pay the value because you know what we're not gonna be walking it's okay we can give ourselves that treat to go and enjoy that and I get to do manis and petties and massages because I treat myself because I serve and I deserve and I feel so good about it and I buy the best food possible I love going to Whole Foods and buying the organic good stuff instead of the ice cream that costs a dollar I give myself the mochi because I love those little chunks of ice cream and yes they're twelve dollars instead of one but you know what I deserve it because I feel so good about all of this you're gonna describe your dreams not just as I get a Range Rover, but what does it mean to your life, that type of abundance? And when you get to describe that goal, even if it's a material goal, but you get to describe it so vividly and with everything that has happened around you, then you know it's a goal that you truly want. Yes, a Range Rover is awesome, but it means that I've searched, served so much people that I've gone to bed so happy every day, exhausted, but happy because I'm closer to my purpose. I am living in my purpose. So guess what? That is a goal that is aligned with you and that happens and that can be described with any goal that you have for 2018 so let's take back the pounds one there's so many people that feel i'm gonna lose 10 pounds or 20 pounds this year and constantly by february or march if we're lucky they've stopped going to the gym and then they forget about it and then they're already thinking about the next year how about we take health in a different point of view? Not just because I want to fit in the, you know, oh, I, I hate the 10 pounds. Why 10 pounds? Let's start with that. Why 10 or 20 pounds? How about just treating every cell of our bodies like it's a magic part of this universe because it really is. We're made. Have you seen, guys, how babies are made? If you take a book that describes how we come to this world and how just this tiny little cell becomes this human and how incredibly magnificent we are as human beings and we'll start honoring our bodies in a way that is beyond what we describe and the health will happen to us because we simply acknowledge that we deserve the best so when we describe our health not in a we have to go to the gym five times a day two hours a day that is so boring i want to puke describing that i never get to accomplish going to the gym that way now when i honor my body because it's freaking amazing and I want it to keep working the way it's been working. Okay, we have a different approach. Now, when I actually feel like I'm not cracking every time, you know, because I've been working out and I'm honoring my body. All right, I feel good. Now, when I said, you know what, I want to stretch out to this way simply because it feels, I, I don't know, just grab it all around it. So again, I even closed it because 
I'm dead serious. The most important part, I think, of this planner are, number one, these two pages, the dreams and ideal day. And I'll give you the number two now. And take this serious. There's plenty of notes after. So um, so in the notes, you can keep writing and writing. And I just don't mean write it one time. I need you to reread it constantly until it gets ingrained in every cell of your body because you got this. And that will also, if you're going to describe in the most specific ways those goals, then it starts uh, giving you a, a hint that those are not your goals. And that is okay. You don't have to have to want the house if you are the type of girl that loves freedom that the idea of living on a rented space because every year you get to dream about the next space and the next city and the next apartment and house if that excites you how on earth are you going to feel excited about buying a house just because your mama told you that you need to buy a house by 30. Then you see, way I don't know, I never, never, I never get to make the money, blah, blah, blah. Perhaps you're sabotaging your uh, finances because you don't want to disappoint mama because you don't want to buy a house and you've never been true to yourself. But the idea of owning a house and having to deal with the, you know, um, the garden and living in the same place for the next 30 years, just like mom and dad did, it sounds so boring. There's people that that's exactly what happens and then never get to realize and tell themselves you know what i feel amazingly good renting because every year it's a gamble every year i get to change and i love change then guess what buying a house should not be your goal unless it's for renting and making more money because that's not aligned with you and that is okay if you love a house for any other reason then that's okay too and you describe it and you realize why would that feel so good not just buying a house because society tells you but because everything around owning a house and making it your own and living there forever and never having to move again then feels so damn good then that's your goal anyway then we get to the i did this part this is another very important part that i did this and the reason is we forget so many times to take a um notes of the things we've accomplished like the awesome experiences we had the amazing people that you met the what you're proud of the books you read the movies you watch and any other things that make you happy when those contrast day comes and there's going to be contrast days uh it doesn't matter how well you design your life um you're gonna have days that you don't feel that good um and that maybe you don't feel that accomplished or that you wonder why is this life thing worth it anyway when you come back to the things you've already accomplished in a year, you start noticing, number one, how freaking awesome you are and how many amazing things you've done and what you truly love. And it's just a way of reminding you that your life is amazing. So taking note here is a way of kind of like taking a diary, taking, I don't know, space to realize that there's so much more than the simple goals that, than the goals that you've written, but simply writing, reading a really nice book, watching the movies, meeting amazing people, those are accomplishments that can give you great hints about your life. Perhaps you're not going out that much, but when you make the list of the people that you've met at the bar, having dinner with the, your friends, and then you realize how good you feel when you've met new people, perhaps that tells you that your, your next goal should be more around the, um, uh, around the places of meeting more people or getting more out there and hey those are great hints for that all right then we have the notes we have some space for context because even though we live in a digital world writing down those um, are sometimes important and then we get to the month now this planner is designed from August 2017 all the way to December 2018 obviously we're in November by now so the from August to October you can either use it as extra pages for writing down notes or you can just simply take them out and it won't damage your planet at all. It will just give you even more space here to uh, put papers. But you have November and December and then January. And I'm going to get to the places. So you have uh, the calendar, right, with lines to write down your most special things. You have um, the holidays written down there. Then you have the date. Don't you know yet, because I'm going to tell you something. The next stage that is extremely important for you to be conscious about your planning and be sure that you finally get to use uh, a planner that truly helps you accomplish your goals. Sara, awesome. Thank you, Sara. Adrian, gracias, chica. Me encanta, Goldiger. Thank you so much. I really, I really appreciate that. So here's the week. Uh, Instagram, can you see it? Here's the week. So the week is designed in a way that number one, you have your top goals. There's five spaces for top goals, but I don't want you to necessarily fill those five steps completely. 
I left five because some people write bigger or anything, but ideally you have three things that if you finish in this week, those three things, you feel extremely accomplished. We tend to over um, ask ourselves to do things in one week and then we tend to underlook what we can accomplish in an entire year. So in this week, we wanna change the world and then when we don't do it, we feel like losers and we stop, but then we forget to see the entire year as a whole and realize how much we can do in a, in a, in a year, right? So you get those goals, then you split them into the weekly, your to-dos, you have two spaces, you have your uh, one and two, and you can do to-dos and then personal things on the other side, however it works for you. But here's the next thing, and you have to pay attention to this, and you have to be very conscious about this as you're doing it. At the end of every month, this is what I've designed, a week analysis. So week one, two, three, four, and week five in the month I have five. Here's the thing. If you ever study sports persons, there is not a trophy winner out there that doesn't check every one of their games after. The most successful sports person, <laughs> I don't know how to say that, always check their games, the good and the bad, and they even check what the other person has been doing every single game, and they keep repeating and checking and doing it. And we see that those are the most successful people. We constantly balance and, 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 and compare our lives with sports in general because it's such a manageable and understandable, I guess, way of seeing life, yet we don't do what they do. We just want life to happen to us. We never want to look back because it's boring going back. You just want to keep moving forward, moving forward. Even life coaching, even though I'm a life coach, I tend to do life coaching slightly different because I do look back. I just don't want to move forward because if we don't see what has happened uh, up until this point, then we're going to keep repeating the things until we learn the lesson. So every week, if you want this goal thing to work for you for one, you have to go back and write down what has worked, what hasn't, what you ate, what and when you exercise, if you hung out with people or not. And based on your accomplishment and the things that you did around, it can give you great hints. Perhaps when you hang out with people, you're more active because you get the energy of other people. Or perhaps there's some people that drain you. And when you've hung out with them, you feel drained and you don't get to accomplish some things. Those are great hints. Perhaps working out in the morning gives you more energy or perhaps at night or whatever it is. And if there's a week that didn't work and that you just felt I don't know, down, after you see a pattern, perhaps the week right before your period, you start realizing that you are not as active when it comes to accomplishing material goals or, or, or action work goals, you're great at insight. So perhaps you start changing your goals and your actions that that time, on, that time of the month, you do more insight work. And then the time of, or the weeks, if you notice that usually in week four every month, you have more energy and you accomplish more things, well, do the best around those weeks. And that starts telling you about you, about your cycle, about your energy, about the things that work for you. There's so much information. If you just took the time every month to analyze what this means for you. And then we have also the goals analysis. So before we talked about the way that we put the big goals for the year, then we split it into monthly mini goals. And you have all of these at the beginning. So if you ever get lost, you can go back um, to the goals tab and it has all of your goals. But then we get here to the goals analysis. And then you can check starting from the first month that you have the goals. Okay, January. Let's go. Actually, let's go to January here. Um, in January. If you check your monthly mini goal, you can start checking here and writing the ones that you accomplished. Then the ones that change. And my change is either that you didn't do them, or that meaning they change for the next month, or that you completely understand that they should not be there anymore. Those goals are not important anymore for you. And you give yourself the opportunity to let them go. Then you don't feel unaccomplished. You just realize, consciously, listen, that's not my goal anymore. And you just write it down. And when you write it, you kind of do a closure for that goal. So there's no more dragging this goal and feeling unaccomplished. There's a closure. Hey, I didn't finish it because it no longer serves me it doesn't make sense for me to continue dragging emotional weight on this goal that I know I'm not gonna accomplish so I rather I rather close that loop and let it go or move it forward to the next month then we have the next month goal that it says February goals and then the notes to sell because there's always notes to give ourselves and that is the technique that I use every month 
for me, for my coaching clients, and for the people that use this planner to understand that it doesn't matter what good of a planner you use, it just matters. Yes, the structure of the planner works. I think that the way that I designed this planner is truly for the people that want to move forward and make goals for themselves, but you have to do the work. I wish I could do the work for you, but unfortunately I can't. So it's up to you to understand that this is a year that you will consciously decide to have a successful year and consciously write down what truly matters to you and consciously ask yourself and your compass what is meant to be happening for me in this year what am i meant to be doing what in what direction i should be moving and when you trust yourself the things are going to start happening when you go back and look you start seeing the patterns of the things that work and the patterns of the things that don't work and start switching and start seeing people that are amazing for you and people that are a little bit vampires for you so then you start limiting the time or understanding that the time that you can hang out with those people should be on week four when you feel the most um, powerful versus week two that you feel let's say uh, more drain or, or, or whatever it is at the end of the planners there's um, always this pocket that fit. there's plenty of space for you to add stuff uh, a phrase that I love says my it might take a year it might take a day but what's meant to be will always find its way it's from an unknown author but um, I feel that this is very true um, I really believe in the uh, law of attraction but I believe that we need to be conscious about it for it to really come to us in a conscious way and I don't mean that we need to get stuck on the goals but we need to um, be doing most of our part so that the universe understand that you want this or something better and when we describe again um, in the parts of the dreams in the parts of everything uh, what those goals mean to us not simply because it would be nice to have a nice car but sim but because it means so much more to us because abundance uh, in every um, meaning of that word uh, means that you've done so good and that you've been so aligned and so on purpose and you just want to feel accomplished and, and, and fulfilled and aligned and you want to help people and you want to touch people and you just want to be yourself then it makes sense that you get to celebrate living a material life that is aligned with those things that you truly desire so my wish for you for you the person that's watching this video thank you for leaving comments and for you, the person that is getting this message and it sounds like, yes, then I designed this planner exactly for you. When I designed this planner, I was thinking of that woman that is tired of feeling unaccomplished. That woman that has been stacking losses when they were never losses. They were just hints from the universe that either that was not their goal and they should let it go because that's not aligned with them or in the other sense, there's so many times that a goal is so important for us because it's so aligned with our soul, it's so aligned with our purpose that we prefer subconsciously to leave it out there, to leave it not touch and not accomplish because the second that we touch it, it no longer is a possibility. For example, let's talk about... Um, uh, let's talk about uh, starting a business, which is uh, something that I talk about with clients. There's so many people that want to start a business and year after year after year after year, oh, I would love to have a business, my store, my coaching, whatever it is. As long as I can live it as a, as a dream out there, out there, oh, it's great, it's a great goal. But if I touch it and if I fail, damn, that hurts because that's so true to me. So there are so many people that don't really touch their goals because it's scary to fail at them. But what is more scary? Fail at trying or fail because you never tried. Anxiety is usually not because of a problem in us. Anxiety tends to happen because of a stacking of unaccomplished things, of things that we start and never finish. And then you start feeling anxious around those things. And then you start uh, remembering, doing anniversary on the feeling of not finishing that goal once again. And it's been how many years of goals that you don't get to finish. And when you get to December, anxiety starts stacking because you haven't accomplished those goals for years. And it feels so freaking bad and you feel unaccomplished and you feel like you don't deserve it like you're not good enough and let me tell you you're freaking good enough you just have to give yourself permission to either let go of some goals that are not yours or to fully embrace the one that are yours and really split them into monthly mini goals so you actually start taking action little by little don't put the big goal of i want my business in but you know what this week, I just want to come up with a name. There's the name. This week, I'm just going to hire one coach. I just want to hire a business coach. That's it. 
that person's gonna tell me something. I hired, oops, there's the money, okay. Next week I'm gonna, and that's it, stack wings after wings after wings after wings. And let me tell you, this year is gonna be the most amazing goal, uh, the most amazing year you've ever had because you know finally that you have control of your life. Adrian says, um, I got your planner and started my home business. I lost over a hundred pound. I also turned my health around. I had the first planner you put out with the mug and calendar. Thank you so much, Adrian. Oh my God, that's amazing. You started home business. You lost over a hundred pounds. You turned your health around. Oh my goodness. And you've been, um, I honor you, Adrian, so much. Thank you for being there since the first planner. I have designed every planner with so much love. Um, and every time I design every page of a planner, believe me, I think about somebody like you, Adrian. I don't know your face and I'm gonna click because I really wanna see your face and like send you a virtual hug. But I, I true to God, I designed this planner thinking of, of of you, thinking of you, the person that is truly gonna make something happen. It is not just a stack of paper. There's intention behind this planner and every planner. And I promise every time I, I try to, even when I send the planners to Amazon, I try to at least touch all of them and kind of like put my energy in them somehow because I know that that a soul is matched to a planner. I know that there's a reason why each and every planner has been created. And thank God up till right now, every planner has been matched. Um, we've sold out every year. And this year is not going to be different uh, because there, I know there's a soul out there for for this. And again, this could be just a stack of, of paper, or this could just be the beginning of uh, someone uh, of someone's new life, someone that is uh, ready to do the work. You can hire the best life coach, you can hire the best school, you can hire whatever. If you don't do the work, nothing is going to happen. Now, if you have the right tool and then you decide to do the work. Um, those 10 pounds, those 100 pounds were not lost with a planner. Those were lost with intention. Those were lost with um, with courage and knowing that that was your goal. Um, and I'm super proud of you. And I'm just honored that one of my planners got to be part of that amazing transformation, Adrian. So thank you so much for sharing that. Sarah, I love this. Thank you. Thank you guys for being here. I wish nothing but the absolute best for you. I have a feeling that 2018 is going to be amazing. And I know that I was writing something around my planner in the same way that I Told you at the beginning that um, that is so good to write a script about the things that you want. I wrote a script about the planners. I know this is very personal, especially when it comes to business, but I'm going to share something, um, a little piece of that, and I, I have it close here. I wish, I, I hope I can open it. But just to close, I want to tell you what this planners mean, what this planner means, and um, and and what everybody that has purchased one already and that is using these planners, I want to tell you what my intention is behind this. Um, let me see if I can read this really good. We are one, we're connected, we're energy, we're planner sisters, and together for this year, we're sharing in this sisterhood of accomplishment and relief. Relief because we're making things happen. Relief because this year, goals will be different. Relief because this year, goals are aligned, and they make sense, and they are being accomplished. Relief because this year, together, as part of this planning sisterhood, we're truly making things happen. And if every per person that has purchased a planner feels like part of the sisterhood, believe me, you have the energy of thousands of other sisters. Even if you don't know them, if you if you don't know of their existence, this universe is connected one way or another. And the energy that these planners were made of um, are truly of that, of an abundant, abundant, abundant 2018. Uh, if you want to know more about the planners, you can search uh, Susana Cresce on Amazon or visit susanacresce.com. Um, I have a gift for everyone that orders a planner. Um, I have this money uh, magnet uh, cards that you can put in front of your desk, in a frame, or anything. So when you order from SusannaCrescia.com, this automatically comes to you. Now, if you order via Amazon, I don't want to leave you behind. So just email me, hello at SusannaCrescia.com, and uh, I'll, I'll mail you this postcard because I want everybody to feel like a magnet of their desires. I want everybody to feel, to feel like... Um, Money is just energy, like everything that we want, love, health, everything is energy and we can really attract everything. So we're a magnet of anything that we want. So I have that gift for you. There's other things in the collection, like the pen uh, line that these pens have been tested and they don't bleed and they're awesome for color coding and making fun. Um, making planning more fun. There's a collection of uh, pens or is a black and the white ones like this. I just want to make this planning thing a little bit more fun. And most of all, I want you to feel accomplished and abundant at the end of every week, not the year, because the year will happen week by week. I want every week for you to go back and analyze and understand what you're doing right, what should be changing and how amazing, amazing, amazing you are. Have a wonderful day. Thank you guys for being with me today. 